Hello, I'm John Collegia from Collegia Jewelers. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about one of our absolute passions, of course, is the Argyle Pink Diamonds. So, just to tell you a little bit about Argyle Pink Diamonds. They are mined in Western Australia. The mine has been in existence for over 30 years, but unfortunately, it's come to the end of its life. And in December this year, 2020, it closes forever and there will be pink diamonds from the Argyle mine again. There will be other pink diamonds found around the world that happen in Brazil and other parts of the world, but there's something very special about Argyle diamonds. It's their range of colour that makes them so special. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about how the grading works. The Argyle grading system is completely different to the GIA grading system. The GIA works more on words like fancy light pink, fancy intense pink, fancy vivid pink, fancy deep pink. When it comes to Argyle, they use a number system, which in my opinion is very good because it tells you exactly the difference between one grade, a four or a five, can be quite, quite a difference which the GIA doesn't really cover. I'll just explain a little bit to you now. This is the Argyle chart. So it starts from purplish pink, so the diamond has a purple hue to it, which is really highly desired. Then to straight pink here, with no secondary colour in it. Then to pink rosé, so it is pink with a little bit of rosé or a brownish tone to it. And then you come here to pink champagne, which has a little bit more brown in it. And just so you know while we're down here, these are the blue diamonds, which also come from the Argyle mine, which are very rare indeed. And of course, the highly prized red diamond, which is probably the rarest color in the world. So just going back, it starts from very pale. In fact, that is a white diamond there, and right next to the white is number nine. So the grading works that the higher the number the, is, the paler the diamond is, and the lower the number, the more intense it is. So this is number one, going two, three, four, five, and so on all the way. So when it's say a 1PP, that's very close to red. In fact, it's one step away from red. 1PP is the most intense and most valuable you can virtually get. So as it comes down, it goes into lighter pinks down to five and six and seven, which we use a lot of in our jewelry at Collegia. Now, it's really up to the wearer and the purchaser as to what they like. If they're buying strictly for investment, then there are certain colors that we would recommend and we would go through that uh, in our stores. But if it's for wearing, which is the majority of our clients and the majority of the pieces of jewelry that we design and make here at Collegia, it really depends on your skin tones and what you really like. Some of our clients really love just the very, very blush of pink and they're pretty and they're beautiful. You can just see the tone of pink in the diamond and then others like it to really, really show. So this one here is actually a very rare tender diamond and this is a 5PP. So going from the chart, it's located right here right in the middle virtually. And then of course the other factors that come in is the cut. The cuts that we're showing you in the chart are all round, but pink diamonds come in all the different cuts, whether it be pear shape or oval or marquee, or emerald cut, princess. And then the other factor is clarity. So most Argyle diamonds do have their fair share of inclusions inside the diamond. Just like a white diamond ranges from flawless all the way to PK and, and included, so does an Argyle pink diamond. So mainly the clarity gradings that you'll experience and get from Argyle will be around SI to P1. That's, that's the average. The inclusions, unless they're really, really heavy, aren't affecting the value or the look of the diamond. So don't be hell bent on trying to get VS or VVS all the time. Getting a nice SI or even a good P1 is perfectly okay. It's all about the color and of course the carat and the size and that's what affects the value and the price. We can tell you more when you're in our stores, but that's just a little bit 
to know about pink diamonds. Thank you.